Hi, my name is Lewis Carroll. Um, let's talk a little bit about how a person lives beyond age 100 to 150, maybe 200, maybe beyond that. Uh, there's only one way to do it. I've been studying this for a long, long time. There's a lot of researchers that have been studying this, and we've. the only thing that I can tell you definitively is that there is a way to do it. I'll just get to the point. Yes, you can do it, and I'm going to tell you how. But here's the interesting thing. The interesting thing is we have not found uh, a specific death gene. There's no, we haven't found a specific clock necessarily, unless you want to talk about cell senescence, uh, that could be a factor. But uh, the thing is, we kind of know what kills us. Um, and that's declining hormones. That's the bottom line. Uh, let's look at young people, for instance. Young people are very healthy, they're vibrant, they're sexy, they're beautiful, their skin looks good. And what do they have? They have high hormone levels. They've got testosterone, growth hormone, IGF-1, they've got the correct amount of estradiol, and they look great. Now, as those hormones decline, as humans age, we have aging. So what is aging? Well, aging is the decline in the hormones. That's what it is. We see the after effects. We see the wrinkling of skin, uh, muscles getting weaker, uh, energy levels going down, uh, immune system not able to fight off cancer, dementia, and heart disease. These are the primary causes of death, primary causes of death, cancer, heart disease, dementia, these three, if one of them doesn't get you, another one will. But it doesn't get you unless your hormones decline. It doesn't seem to affect young people. And that, that's screaming at us that, you know, I call it the inescapable observation. No, young people don't have these problems, old people do. What's the difference? Young people have high levels of those sex hormones, and old people do not. So it would seem pretty obvious that if you want to live past 100, 150 to 200, and you want to feel good, you must keep those hormones up. That is the bottom line. And my theory is that if you keep those hormones up, you won't die. There isn't anything that's going to kill you off except some sort of an unnatural act, like being hit by a truck or shot or something like that. But you shouldn't die of a natural cause. That's, as far as I can tell, that's, that's the theory. And uh, I think it could work. Now, the only way we're going to find out is by actually going there. So, now the next problem is how do you keep the hormones up? Well, the only answer the medical community seems to have right now is hormone injections. Replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy. They want to inject you with testosterone, growth hormone. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what's been going on. The problem is uh, growth hormone's okay. Testosterone is not generally bioidentical, and it's going to cause you problems. Your liver's going to have to detox that, so you're going to put your liver under an extra load. And um, your PSA levels are going to rise. It's cancerous. It could become cancerous uh, because you're taking a, a testosterone. But not because the testosterone is so bad for you, but a lot of doctors aren't looking at what your body is going to do with that testosterone once you inject it into your body. It's going to convert it into estrogen. Estradiol in the male body is cancerous. You don't want to get too much of that. It causes your prostate to grow and it, it can grow out of control. It can, it can be a problem. Uh, cancer cells can feed off of estradiol in men and women. So it's not something that you can afford to have rise up too high. So anytime you're going to go out and get a testosterone replacement therapy program going, you have to look at rising levels of estrogen and you've got to do everything you can to keep the estrogen low. Now if you go to the doctor, they're going to put you on something that will reduce estrogen and that's going to be an aromatase inhibitor that is a drug. They're not going to tell you about a natural aromatase inhibitor probably. They're probably going to put you on a drug because the pharmaceutical companies want to sell drugs. That's how they make money. And they're telling the doctors what to do. So the doctor is going to prescribe an aromatase inhibitor. Aromatase, by the way, is an enzyme that is made by your fat cells that will convert testosterone into estrogen. So that's the problem. So is there a better way? Yeah, there is. There is only one product on the market right now that will absolutely do this at, this, at the time of this video, and that is the time machine. The time machine is a combination of a whole bunch of food extracts that are absolutely natural, that have no side effects, that have a profound effect on your hormones. And we've already seen from blood tests from people that are taking it that you're going to double or triple your testosterone levels. It will quadruple your growth hormone levels and, and, and similar to your IGF-1 levels. And it will also bring your, your estradiol down. So it absolutely works. Um, and I'm on it. I've been on it uh, several years now. I feel fantastic. And there's several other people that have been on it. So right now, we do have the technology to take 
a 50 or 60 or 70 year old man and essentially turn him back into a teenager. We can restore your hormones back to say when you were 25 or maybe 30 and keep you there. If you're going to continue taking that product, you will stay there. So that is the method. That's the best method that we have to date. In, in the entire world, this is the best method that there is. No side effects. Your own body will produce its own hormones and you're going to go back to being 30 and, and, you're, and you're going to feel like that. Your body will actually think it's 30 years old. It will perform like it's 30 and the maintenance in your body will be done like it's 30. It's fantastic. So, can you live to 150? Can you live to 200? I think you can. You have to keep the hormones up and you got to keep yourself out of danger so that you don't get in a situation where you have an unnatural death. But as far as living that long, as long as the maintenance is going to be done, I think, I think this, is, this is the strategy. This is the only one that I know of. But the time machine can do it. You have to stay on it. I'm on it. I'm going to be one of the pioneers that goes there. I'm going to try to go there myself. And I think that's how it could be done. So the answer to the question, can you live past 100 and feel good and be vibrant and, and take full advantage of your life and experience all the stuff you want to do, the answer is yes. You can't.